Things start Thursday. Hello, hello. Today we're here to talk about this technique, which sort of looks a bit like strumming, and it's sort of a little bit, but also sort of not. So it's basically a very cheeky way of doing some easier finger pinching. Um, I've been teaching a lot of uh, Tobias Eloff's pieces at the moment because he's a fantastic ukulele player, like you know. And um, yeah, he crops up a lot. And so it's a technique that he uses a lot, a lot. And rather than basically going between your fourth string and pinching strings one and two, like that, actually we sort of get a little bit lazier and just almost do a little strum with that index, like that. So it ends up as a more legato sort of soft sound to it. So that's why I sort of class it as finger style and sort of a little bit strumming at the same time. Who knows, let's talk about it. Okay, so let's talk about the technique first. Basically, we're plucking uh, the fourth string with our thumb. And then, like I said, you're gonna use your index finger. You can use your middle finger as well if you like, but I think index works. And we're basically gonna try and strum one and two. Like that. I got a bit of three in there. We're gonna try our best to miss the third string. One and two and three and four and. So you don't wanna, it's not a big strum. So we're not sort of strumming. We're actually just plucking the thumb and then a little flick on that index finger. You might find that sometimes you maybe only get one string and that's absolutely fine. It's quite loose, so if you do just get the one string, don't worry too much about it, but just sit there, one and two and, and play with that. So whenever I'm using this technique, I sort of, uh, if we put it on the first chord, which is a B flat major seven, basically I sort of get quite animated with my right hand, as in you can sort of see that my hand is moving a bit there, as opposed to finger picking, where I'm just doing all the movement in my fingers. The reason I like to do that is because, uh, especially when combining strumming and finger picking, you can sort of have that big strum and then keep it diet straight back down. So you can sort of go between constantly strumming and then this softer sort of almost finger picking style. So that's why my hand is moving a bit like that, okay? Again, you can stay nice and robotic if you like, but if you start dancing a little bit, that's absolutely normal. Right, so let's talk about the left hand for the piece. We have to play a B flat major seven first, which basically is a B flat without the barring. So we have three, two, one, zero. Nice countdown there, Sammy. But it's a wonderful chord. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to play eighth notes. We're going to start on our fourth string and we're going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Be nice and gentle with the attack on the right hand. Then we're going to move up. Oh yes, there we go. Which is basically a C6 chord. So we're going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So all I've done is move from that, keep it same shape there, okay? So once we're done with those two bars, we're gonna to go to a nice F major, only for a bar. One and two and three and four and, and then an A minor seven. that for a bar. Between all those chords, apart from the A minor 7, your index finger basically never has to leave the fretboard, so I would try 
never letting that index finger leave. So you keep all the nice sustain and it feels nice. Okay, that's our intro. So once more, it's B flat major seven. Then C6. F. A minor seven. And that's our little intro, done. Right, now we get to some pull-offs and pinky pull-offs. So, play me your B-flat major seven again, and we're gonna add our pinky to the third fret on the first string. That makes it a B-flat add nine chord. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna strum that chord, and then you're gonna pull off with that pinky. They're eighth notes, so we're going one and. One and. After you've done that, you're gonna pluck the third string, second string, which would be two and. One and two and. So it's sort of like a little arpeggio. The pull off just helps us have a breather on the right hand. One and two and. After that, we're gonna fill the rest of the bar with three and four and, which is the same pattern, fourth string, one, two, fourth string, one, two. So we have one and two and three and four and. Once we're done with that bar, we basically just play one more bar of one and two and three and four and. So that same pattern that we had from the intro. Next, we're gonna move up to our C6 again, but I'm gonna add my pinky on the fifth fret first string. And that makes it a C add nine chord. So actually we're gonna do the exact same thing, okay? Strum, pull off, three, two, and then one, uh, sorry, four, one, two, four, one, two. And then we have another bar again of this thumb, strum, thumb, strum. And those are our next two bars. So again, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. There we go. So our next chord, we need to go down to an F add nine and add ring finger there. Okay, so this F add nine chord is open, open, first fret, third fret. Who's Super tasty. And we're gonna do exactly the same trick again. So basically, except this time, it'll be a pull off with a ring finger. So we strum, pull off, three, two, four, one, two, four, one, two. Rhythmically, that goes one and two and three and four and. After that, the next bar, we're gonna to go to our A minor seven, one and two and three and four and. So from the F add nine, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Once we play that, we're gonna go back to the start of the verse. So you're gonna play your B flat, add nine and your C add nine. But then we're gonna use some different voicings for the F. Right, so after we play that B flat add nine and that C add nine, we're then actually gonna to go to this chord here, which is another F add nine. Now, what I'm doing here is I've got my ring finger on the eighth fret of the first string, and then I've got my middle finger on the eighth fret of the second string. And we're gonna do exactly the same trick, so it will be a pull off with our ring finger. Strum, pull off, three, two, and then one. Sorry, I keep calling that one today. Four, one, two, four, one, two. One and two and three and four and. And then for the next bar, we're gonna fall into a C chord, which actually, if we use our index finger, is on the seventh fret. And we're gonna go one and two and three and four and. So let me just replay those last two bars. So F at nine on the double eights, one and two and three and four C there. And then basically, it's up to you. In the piece then, I just hit a B flat major seven to round it off. But if you want to give the verse another sort of round, don't know why I'm calling it a verse, but we'll call it a verse. Uh, if you want to give that from the B flat another whole round away, then that absolutely works too. Make it a really long piece. 
Cool. As usual, you can find all the sheets and the MP3s on my Patreon. And if this video was helpful and you enjoyed learning it and listening to this face, then please consider liking and subscribing. Woo, yeah! Right, I think that's all the bullshit I have to say. Cool. Have a good week.